Hello and welcome to my Starts and Crafts. I'm Libby and today I'll be showing you this fun shaker card. Um, so here is the card that we will be making today. Um, this is a uh, shaker card with some snowman on it. So I'm going to start by stamping these snowman. Um, I believe they are from the uh, Mama Elephant um, stamp set. Uh, I think they're called Little Snowman Agenda. They have a bunch of stamps like these. Any of them would work. I have the snowmans, but there's Santa. I think there's um, Gingerbread Man, a bunch of different things that they have. So you can go and check that out and see what works um, for you. Um, or if you have one of those sets and want to use this, you can as well. Um, so I'm going to just color them with basic markers that I have. If you have something else, you can totally use that too. Um, I'm going to keep the coloring really, really simple um, and just stick to basic Christmas colors. Um, I tried to zoom it in in so that you could see better. Um, hopefully um, that helps and I tried not to get out of camera so hopefully it works. So I started with like this light gray and I just added shadows to the left hand side of the snowman and blended it out with a blender um, and then I'm coming in with just some Crayola markers and adding a little bit of dimension. I chose two colors for each I think. Um, they are very small so you don't need a lot um, and I'll come in with some black for their top hats um, and um, add that piece. Um, I'm coming in with a little gray on that, um, the, the stick to the broom, and then I will bring in some more green um, on more of the like uh, greenery and in the presents. And then I'm just try trying to decide which pink and red I wanted for the heart there. Um, so I will color that in, and then I will come in with some red um, in the various other areas. Um, again, I'm just using two colors to um, make it super simple, but have a little bit of dimension to it. So I will blend those out and finish off that. Um, I do like to typically bring in my red um, last because it um, can get blended into the other colors if you aren't uh, being careful. Um, if you go outside of the lines, um, that's okay. You can use a white gel pen to cover it up, um, which I did have to do. Um, next, I'm going to be stamping this greeting. Um, it's uh, from, I think, the Pink Fresh Studio Poinsettia um, stamp set. Um, I thought it worked nicely in the limited space I have. Um, I cut this out of my Cricut, so I knew everything would be lined up and nice. Um, I will link this file um, for you so that you have everything you need to make this if you want. Um, and so um, I did cut two of these. I did actually had to end up redoing this because um, of some stuff I will show you in just a minute. But I added some double-sided tape to the back of this and then placed a piece of acetate. And then I decided to layer um, this piece again. I just put it in my Misty to help me line it up perfectly. And it worked really, really nice. This will just give it a little bit more stability. So then for these pieces, um, I also cut them out with my Cricut out of like, I think like 11 pieces. I think there's 11 pieces here um, or maybe 10 or something. But there are a ton of pieces here that I'm going to layer together to create a shaker wall. You could use foam tape if you want, go ahead. Um, I just decided I wanted to use cardstock. Um, I did have to redo this because um, it was showing through in my shaker window. Um, so I had to recut them, or I had to like redesign them and recut them um, and re-glue them and everything. Um, so I cut that part out, but I wanted to share that um, I did have to do that. So I'm gonna line them up nicely, um, and then I will just stack all of these up. Um, it did take quite a bit of time, so I sped it up for you. Um, and then I will just add this last one here, and then I will add this to my shaker panel. So I'm just, I'm using Barely Arts glue. That's my favorite glue. I put it in a little um, bottle that um, keeps, uh, or that helps um, to, uh, let out the glue easy um, and in a fine, t fine tip um, so it's super easy. Um, I do tend to leave off the little cap thing that keeps it um, from drying um, in the nozzle so I sometimes have to use um, a little pin to um, unclog it. So I will line that up there 
Um, and then I'm just going to add some foam tape in those little center areas. You don't have to do this if you would not like to. Um, that's just what I chose to do. I will then fill um, this shaker with some um, with some uh, shaker bits. I tried to cut some off because it was hanging off a little bit, but it wasn't too bad and it was really thick so I couldn't get in there too well. Um, I just decided to add some anti-static powder tool because I used some glue and I didn't want um, any of my shaker bits to stick. I wanted them to move around quite a bit. So I'm using a bunch of various different um, things to add in here. Just some things that I have. Um, you can use whatever. I chose some wintry stuff so I have this like fake um, snow. I have some snowflakes, some little stars. Um, I added in some of these like they're kind of like clay snowflakes. I um, specifically chose out like the white and the light blue ones because I felt like they went with my card the best. Um, I didn't really have any dark blue, so I just decided to go with these. Um, so I will add those in there. Um, I will also. I tried to add these little tiny jingle bells that I found, um, but I will have to use those on a different project because it didn't work too well. I added some white hearts and some of this. Uh, some sequins and then I added red hearts too because I did have some red accents in my snowman and I thought it would add a nice pop of color. Um, I wanted to add a few more snowflakes and a few um, additional uh, embellishments here and there to make it really fun. Um, and so yeah, I will then take off the adhesive um, backer to my foam tape and add a strip of glue all around the cardstock there and then I have this pattern paper that I thought played really nicely it's like this mint um, like checkered pattern um, that I think went really nice uh, since the glue didn't really get on very well I decided to add some washi tape just to secure it a little bit better but you don't have to do this um, I just uh, didn't cut the panel quite large enough to um, really hold securely and nicely um, but I got it all figured out and I popped up these little snowmen in each of the windows um, with a um, thumb, with some uh, thin foam squares and I just popped them into the little windows where I felt like they fitted um, and looked nice um, and so I will finish that up there. Um, I did also add some sparkle sparkly glitter pen to these. I don't remember if I did it on camera or not. Um, it might have been an afterthought, but yeah. And then I will um, take this. I tried some liquid glue, but then I thought it was a thick panel and I wanted something really strong. So I brought out my double-sided tape and I'm just going to um, add it all over the back. And then I will um, adhere this to a red card base, which I think really brings out the red um, in the snowman and in the shaker and everything. And I think it really adds a nice touch. So here is the red card base and then I will just place that on there. Um, this gives a nice thin border um, so that um, you can have a lot of shaker, but you can also see some of the border because I do like that. And here is the finished card. Um, I will show you up close how it turned out and you can see all the sparkle on my snowman. Um, you do have to be careful because you can see that the red bled a little bit, but I think it's um, okay. Um, anyway, here is how the card turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and come back soon for a new video. If you are interested in any of the supplies I used today, check the description box below. For more inspiration, please consider liking and subscribing. And for even more inspiration, please check out my Instagram and Pinterest accounts at MyStartsAndCrafts. Have a great day. See you soon.